silicone, oil, and lots of toil. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect new rubber. But James Wright accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, boric acid. Thus, Silly Putty was born, using its ultra super powers of bounciness, stretchiness, and silliness. Putty has dedicated its life to fighting boredom and the forces of evil. What molds into silly animals and silly shapes? Uh, silly Putty? Unless you grew up under a rock, Silly Putty was part of your childhood. But did you know that the insanely addictive toy was actually created by Scottish inventor James Wright as a rubber substitute during World War II? Nothing else is silly putty. James Wright's employer, General Electric, marketed bouncing putty for not very silly things at all, like hand exercises and leveling wobbly furniture. But clever marketer Peter Hodgson spotted its fun potential as a children's toy and changed its name to Silly Putty. At Easter, he sold the putty in a plastic egg. Clever, huh? The egg stuck, and it's still sold in this iconic packaging today. Always put your silly putty back in its egg, or it will run slowly away. Then he turned to a newfangled technology, the television, fighting off competition from the likes of Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> and the hula hoop. Buy yours today at all toy drug and department stores. Get one, get two, get more. So why is Silly Putty so damn fun? Stretchier than rubber! And bouncier too! 300 million units sold since the 1950s. It's even been to space. Silly Putty! The silliest toy around!